strong. Hi, and welcome to Funny Minds. I am your host, Lynn B. And I'm Edward Biss. Welcome. And today, I am so honored to have on again on our second segment, uh, Mr. Warren Brown, who is an extremely um, dedicated and wonderful graphic artist. He's a producer um, of the Beatles Kingdom. He's got a huge following. He's a wonderful man. And we welcome him to our show again. Hi, Warren. How are you? Hi, Lynn. I'm doing fine. And nice to see you again. And Edward, hello. Hello, <laughs> hello. Long time and no see. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we also have Mr. Um, Pat Matthews. And and Pat, he's had, he's had a very interesting um, life it, as yeah. a, um, a voiceover artist. And he did a lot of radio and and. Uh, TV, commercials, mm -hmm. acting, and he also is going to promote a new podcast that uh, the two of them, that Warren and Pat, are going right. to put together. So, Pat, welcome to our show. I'm so oh. I'm so excited, and I can't wait to hear about this whole podcast and what you guys are yeah. going to do. Yeah, no, thank you for having me today. Um, Warren and I have been working together since I had my um, audio stream, beatles Arama. Um, I had that for 20 years, and then uh, I ran out wow. of money. Ran out of money, and uh, so you know we've been, we're talking. We're talking about uh, you know the whole money thing, and, right? <laughs> oh, it's, it's always about money, you know. But um, so we're gonna. We started this Beatles Arama TV in uh, a couple of years ago, and I did a bunch of interviews with people from um, the, uh, Mona Lisa twins to Road Best to uh, Jude Sutherland Kessler, who's an author. And um, oh, yes, he uh, he mentioned Jude. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah, we're both friends with Jude. Can you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jude. Jude's a lucky yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. She she actually likes both of us. Um, <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I didn't know we were doing Laurel and Hardy today, but that's okay. <laughs> no, it's called these days. It's called the thruple. I'm the, the thruple. Fan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, so you know, my my career has been in radio. I started in. Uh, here we go. Do the math. Uh, 1971. And uh, I worked for, wow. at the time, what was... You're old. For, yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, stop. <laughs> um, a progressive radio station where, you know, playing album cuts and that kind of stuff, you know, and FM was in its infancy and, and all that. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm back in the neck of the woods where I started. I was originally from New Orleans and lived uh, uh, in the lower garden district in New Orleans when mm. I was on radio. Okay. But now I'm across the Lake Pontchartrain, which mm -hmm. let me just tell you, that bridge isn't fun. So in case you ever venture out here, um, try to avoid that bridge. It's just- I've like, been on that bridge many years ago when I was in high school. Oh. I remember that, that bridge. That's right. Well, that was when it had two lanes going in opposite direction. That, that, was, that was an adventure. Now they have two separate spans which oh, okay. That upon the microphone. <laughs> but um, yeah, and so I got into uh, internet radio. I was working freelance at a uh, streaming convention in San Francisco back in 1999. And uh, there was a company there called Live 365. And I got to talking to them. And I was one of the first clients of theirs uh, to, to have a radio station. And uh, I stayed with them for a while, but they got too strict on the rules. And I, you know... I like to bend the rules. And oh, yes, was, we I'm, do too. <laughs> we're always bending able, rules. <laughs> that's right. I wasn't able to do that. So so now but we're, we're pretty excited. Um, I talked to uh, Paul McCartney's stepsister the other day. I don't know if you... Really? Yeah, uh, Ruth, right? right? Okay. Uh, and she gave us this idea for me to do uh, Today in Beatles History. And so I, I said, well, that's a good one. So we started that on Monday. And uh, it's progressively gotten better, right, Warren? Yes, it has. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Right. We don't know what we don't know what happened to yesterday's episode. It just disappeared. But uh, are, are you doing are you doing live stream or are you doing um, are you filming on your podcast? Well, I, was, I was actually uh, recording it. The first two I did live streams, and then uh, they just then we shared it to different platforms. Okay. But, um, I would rather do it. You know, record it so that yeah. Warren can work his magic on it. You know, right? Yeah, right. Make, make it look I've, better I've, than me, just the talking head. 
<laughs> I've had a few people that are trying to talk me into doing live stream and I really don't want to do it. And I talked to Eddie about it. I really, I just don't want to do live stream. What I, about I you, prefer- Ed? You don't like it? You know, I, I could go, I could go either way. Really, it doesn't matter to me. But what we're doing now is working well and yeah. uh, we're going to stick with it for now. You sure. know, in the future, we'll see yeah. you know, how it goes. It really depends on who we're working with, how they could do it and, and what it could lead us to. But um, yeah. I got to tell you, Pat, you got the radio voice, man. Oh, oh he does. <laughs> he does. I'm trying to think of You the got the radio. He, you just have the radio of... voice. Thank you so much. He reminds me of somebody with the glasses and like, and I can see the guy's face and I can't think of his Christopher name. Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a funny story about that. I used to live in uh, California for 35 years, and uh, I was at the uh, Los Angeles County Fair, just walking around, and I had people that were like, I could tell that people were following me, and I was like, you know, and, and I hadn't been on television for a while. I used to be a news anchor on a TV station in, in Anaheim. Oh, man. Okay, That's so awesome. I knew it wasn't that. And so finally, I turned around, you know, like and scared them. And I said, why are, you, why are you following me? They said, Mr. Walken, could you please give us your autograph? And I was like, what? So, I, I had a, so ever since then, it's, it's just been like that. You know? Oh, my God. That's amazing. I faded that's out so immediately. Fun. I wasn't going to say anything, but I was like, that, you're dead, dead. that is oh. awesome. That's that's right. your voice, but honestly, your voice says it all. I mean, I could yeah. see how you've had a, an amazing long career in, in radio, you. TV, and everything else. And voiceovers. Oh, yeah, yeah, and voice voiceover, still, yep. I'm still looking for work, as a matter of okay. fact. Okay. It'll never end. We're, none of us are ever going to retire. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. That's an Emmy wow. I won for a what? PBS series that they did. Oh. God, I can't remember what year it is. Let me see if I can read the thing. Well, congratulations. 1996. Oh, my nice. God. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you. That's insane. I don't think I've ever talked to anybody that had an Emmy. Oh, uh, and there you oh, go. Oh, wow. All right. Wait, okay, so Pat, 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 Where do you guys Pat. live? Where do you guys I'm, live? I'm in Tampa. And okay. I'm in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Well, because it, it was produced by... Um, I think in Boston's uh, PBS affiliate. Oh, okay. And uh, okay. yeah, it's called the Cycles of Life. So if you ever, uh, yeah, you know, it's, you know it's, it's a lot of animation. Take a look at it. Well, just so <laughs> that, just for your information, Ed is my son. We're a mother thought, and son oh, duo. Oh, I, I thought I yes. thought you were his sister, but you know. No, no, he's my son. Uh, <laughs> he's, Thank he's, you for that, though. <laughs> He is smooth. I, I work every day. <laughs> he's smooth. Look out. He's, he's smooth. got the voice. He's got, yeah. yeah. That's oh, awesome. God, that's I funny. Can, I, I try. Where, where are you at now, Pat? Hey, you can do you never, know, nothing venture, nothing are, are, you 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 down in, uh, are you down in New Orleans now? I'm in north, like I said, north of Lake Pontchartrain in a, okay, in, okay. In a town called Covington. Covington. Which is okay. very, very, very quaint. It was founded in 1836, you know, and they have buildings downtown that are that old and oh nice great. you know nice. it's a, it's a beautiful area my wife and i just were down in new orleans uh, a few Where months in? back and it, yeah but we were down right in the thick of it bourbon oh. street just just to have a few days away and it yeah. was my first time there and uh talk about people watching <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I guess. Did you, oh yeah did you uh, go down the water and sit out on oh, the yeah. In a restaurant oh yeah oh Sorry. yeah Sorry. oh yeah but I'll tell yeah. you what, the this, this city they, they, is so rich with history, mm-hmm. all the different influences there. I mean, it's a actually, it's a beautiful, I found it, for me, beautiful. Like everything. And I, I love the voodoo. The voodoo is great. Uh, hey, listen, you, can't, you can voodoo never have voodoo. voodoo ladies are wonderful. Love them. But <laughs> it, it's just a beautiful place, beautiful people, great tradition. Yeah. The yeah. music for me, because I'm a musician, Oh. was everywhere and i was like man this is fantastic fantastic you had, so do you I, do beetle covers or what i've done everything man i have done everything my latest journey was a, a a tribute show called best of british and we did five different tributes but the main one was queen so oh, we toured man. around the world doing uh queen oh, and we also man. did def leppard uh acdc uh you name it Judas Priest, we did some heavy stuff, but Queen was the main one. Okay. Um, but yes, Beatles have been an influence of mine since oh, yeah. 
birth. Forever. Uh, Forever. I started, I started playing guitar when I was five. I started singing when I was born. And yeah. the Beatles, <laughs> the did. Beatles is that true? Is that true? honestly, was it a massive, true. massive influence <laughs> because my mother had all the albums. So when I was yeah. a kid growing up, I had access to the Beatles, Elton John, Vanilla yes. Fudge, King Crimson, uh, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, you know, like oh, the, yeah. good, the goods, the Rolling Stones. And um, and that's where I grabbed from. And the Beatles mm-hmm. were mm-hmm. pretty much the main one. Well, so. great. Because I was, uh, yeah. cause, you know, if I if we launch Beatles around the radio station again, I always... Um, search for groups you know unsigned bands that have recordings of them doing Beatles songs and I as I have to fill with something if I'm not going to break the rules so (laughs) you're not going to break the rules (laughs) because Warren Warren doesn't want me to break the rules this time you see what I mean oh Warren I I, I, I think that's a total lie (laughs) Warren's a rule breaker (laughs) Uh, have either one of you met any of the Beatles no no no, no. Uh, I no. I can only wish. Yeah, I, I know, saw, right? I, I saw it's not an easy thing to do. I know. I saw, uh, each one of them separate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never saw them together as a band. I saw each one separate in New York. Mm-hmm. A couple of yes. Them. So, I saw George Harrison in I think it was 1971, right after the, you know, uh, he he had his All Things Must Pass album. And mm-hmm. uh, he had laryngitis. Oh, that was awful. Wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, singer was laryngitis. That's but the he did the, the whole show, which was you know, oh. amazing. Yeah. Um, That's incredible. Wow. I you know, saw... George, George is like an unsung hero with the Beatles, yeah. to be honest with you. Yes. Like he's, he John, was. John and Paul were always the standouts. Ringo and George were kind of in the back. But George... To me, was such a uh, an amazing. He had a writer. lot of amazing. He wrote a lot I of mean, amazing songs. He really right. did. Yes, he yeah. did. And that's uh, that's one of the features that we have on uh, I had on Beatles Arama where I have a lot of um, un you know unreleased stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, and a oh, lot of okay. it was George Harrison. You know, songs that eventually uh, he did solo, but not all. I yeah. read that uh, they they had more hits in the United States of their music than they did in in the United Kingdom. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't doubt well, that's it. Where all, that's why yeah. all the criminals are in the United States. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, I got and Warren, I got a good story for you. I was uh, doing a show in Mexico and Sonora, and um, I was doing a a recording. I'm sorry, wrong story. A recording in New Jersey. The guy who was producing the recording used to own, I think it was the New York City record plant, one of the studios there, mm-hmm. big one. So he right. did everybody. His name was Roy Zacala. And he was, <laughs> funny enough, on the run from the IRS because he owed them lots of money. So he took his we're wife all, to Brazil. We're all on the run from the IRS. I know. <laughs> so, and this guy's made millions of dollars. And he had all the masters from the Who, Arrow, I mean, you name it. Beatles. Wow. So he did John Lennon's, uh, one of John Lennon's solo albums. And you can look Whoa. him up. His name is Roy Zacala. And it's Yoko C, Ono. Right? C. Z, Z, with his, uh, Z? Roy Sokola. Sokola, I think it's with a C. He, uh, he, the record plant was where he did his final album. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. he did our he did our recording. He this guy John uh-huh. Hanty owned a place called uh, XXT Studios, and he came down. They were buddies. He mixed our album, and in in doing the in that process, he brought when he did John Lennon's solo album. Yoko Ono gave him one of John's acoustics as a gift. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice! For, for for doing the album, right? And he he brought it to the studio and let me play it. Oh wow! <laughs> so it's one of those moments where you're sitting there playing this acoustic, going, "This is John Lennon's acoustic." John Lennon actually this is touched it. John yeah. Lennon's acoustic. <laughs> I know it's it's so small of it, but in in your, no, in your mind, great. in your mind, you're like, "Oh my!" And now you're uh, now you're thinking, when he went to the restroom, you could have just taken it. No. <laughs> well, I was I was already seven steps ahead. I was like, uh, how do I how do I rob this guy? No, but it, it it was just a it was a cool moment, man. Yeah, no, that is a good story. Yeah. When I, I saw be- I saw 
Well, McCartney, my daughter and I went to the garden six years ago and his he didn't stop. I mean, he came on the stage and that was it. He did, you know, four hours. Yeah. He did a, a wonderful tribute to John and, and to George, which, uh, you know, I cried like hell. But it was absolutely incredible. He did an incredible job. And that's that's the first time I saw him by himself. Right. Um, because I had seen John Lennon and I had seen George, but I never saw Paul by himself. And I was just blown away. He was great. But my daughter is a big Beatles fan too. She's a diehard Beatles fan. So she was when she asked me, I was like, Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. You know, not a big deal. I want to say him. He was, he, was, he was wonderful. He was wonderful. What with, you your, say, new, with your new podcast, the, I, I would say the goal would be to get. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, we Any talked about them. that. We talked about that. Didn't we, Warren, about uh, going through Ruth or. You should. Yeah. There's yeah, got to be a way. Got, there has uh, to be a way. I'm trying to get a hold of a few people, but yeah, we went through Ruth. You know, I, uh, I was good friends with uh, George's sister. Louise, um, okay. and she just she passed away last year. Oh um, wow! Yeah, uh-huh. and I was talking when I was talking to Ruth uh, McCartney the other day. I mentioned she says, "Oh yeah, that poor soul." And I said, "I said she died penniless because um, when when she was uh, younger and her husband left her, and she had a she was a single mom. Uh, George put her on a stipend, which he said was for." you know, in perpetuity for the rest of her life. And mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money. It was like $2,500 a month. And um, when George married, no, when George died, mm-hmm. uh, his, his, you know, his wife then, Olivia, she cut her off. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, so uh-huh. I mean, you know, I'm not, oh. not trying to air any dirty laundry. And I mean, yeah, that's a true, oh, true story, you know? Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's sad. That's oh, really sad. Pat, here we go. Mexico. Mm-hmm. Sorry. That's all right. ADHD. More the record player um, Mexico. <laughs> yeah. It's all big funyun. But uh, we, we went to do a show in Mexico, went out the night before. Our handler takes us to a, a club in Mexico. There's mm-hmm. a cover band. The cover band gets up and plays hallelujah to the T okay. my singer and I, we, we traveled down there to do ACDC. It's called highway to hell. Right. And, um, my singer and I, he, he's from Wales. And, uh, we were like, are you kidding me? No, but nobody does this. You'll mm-hmm. never go anywhere in the United States and see a cover band, unless they're a Beatles cover band. And even at best, they're not probably going to do this, do hallelujah from, from George Harrison. To the T. Like this wow. band knocked it out of the park. And my singer and I were like, and they're paying us all this money to fly down here and do this show. And this band <laughs> is killing it. Like I was blown away. Well, I think they were offended by the fact that you were going to do Highway to Hell because they thought, <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> you, you thought, they thought you wrote it and it was about this uh, this tour you were doing in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> no, the sad part is they're playing in like some dingy bar and we're playing in like front of like 20,000 people. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Big contrast, you know, but when you're sitting there and you see a band in Mexico pulling off Hallelujah to the T, like I'm talking to the T, the, the whole slide guitar solo, the whole thing, mm-hmm. which is jaw, jaw dropping moment. You're talking about My Sweet Lord, right? Yeah, My Sweet Lord. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, My Sweet yeah. Lord. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's all I hear in my head. So that's yeah. right. Well, you know, that's how the song fades out, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. No, that, that's pretty good. That's a that's a moment, man, for a Beatles fan to to see somebody do pull that off. I saw this guy at there used to be. Uh, well, it still is where I lived in uh, Orange County in California. Mm-hmm. There was a um, uh, the Mission Viejo Recreational something or other. I don't know, but it it was uh, the lake. There's this mm-hmm. beautiful man-made lake in the uh, the park, and they would set up a stage during the summer, and they'd have these concerts every other Saturday night. And there was a guy who did Queen and did uh, Freddie Mercury. This mm-hmm. guy sounds even more. Well, I don't think Adam Lambert sounds like Freddie Mercury, but I no, he's just a great singer. Oh, yeah. I thought he did a great job. I saw. No, him. no, no I'm, I never seen him do a great job. Yeah. But this guy marked somebody who was like in a Christian band. Maybe, I don't know if you know. Uh, I wish I could remember his name, but he was unbelievable. 
Yeah. I mean, he knocked every and he was doing it so- solo or with a band? I am, well, he had a band. Okay. But, um, you know, it was, it was amazing. But his voice wow. was spot on. Yeah. Oh, I love Queen. Did he have a I badass mustache? <laughs> um, I don't think did he, he did, actually. Did yeah. yeah. he look the part? He totally looked nothing like Freddie Mercury, but uh, uh, he uh, but he sounded just like him. Hey, Edward, I, I got something for you, Edward. You know who uh, Weird Al Yankovic is, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, look him up on YouTube singing uh, George Harrison, and you wouldn't believe how good he is. I mean, really? Like, for for real, or is he doing like a a parody? Right. But no, he wasn't doing a parody, he was Mm. doing the song. And it was perfect. I was like, this is weird, Al Yankovic. Yeah, I can't but, imagine him doing that, but. Yeah, but I, I forgot hey, what song awesome. it was, though. But it was George Harrison. And that's why I brought it up. But yeah, look yeah. that up and check I have it out. To, I and, have to watch it when we're on a break. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll be that's, amazed. That sounds fun. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Uh, to get back to your podcast. So yeah. when is it? Is it on once a week? Well, I mean, it's going to take many different forms. Um, okay. We started with this uh, Today in Beatles History, so it's on every day. Oh, uh, okay. It's only, it's only like two minutes or less. Uh, oh, okay. Depending on how many things happen on that particular day, right? And yeah. um, we uh, are going to start doing interviews with people. Maybe we'll interview you. How about that, right? Is that Sure. Well, you, I'll you go know. on anybody's show. I don't mind. Oh, Eddie and I will both go on. Well, well you, you just, know, that, you just want Eddie, you can just have Eddie. You that know, you, you, that you'll go on anybody's show. You know what I mean? When, right, Warren? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have to put, you I'll know have what to I mean. Out, the, the play, yeah. Well, okay. It's yeah, a yeah. You play the guitar, but it's, it's having trouble with your background. But uh, yeah, I know. Is it a green guitar or is it? Uh, no, it's black. It's an it's acoustic. <laughs> I mean, it's it, got it a looks like it. I know. Look at that. It looks like it disappeared. Um, yeah, it did disappear. That, it disappeared nine. from you. <laughs> is that a Gibson? Our shrooms are kicking in. Is that a Gibson or a Martin? What is it? <laughs> no, that's uh, that's an ovation. Oh, I'm in the process great, of. Uh, I perform. I have a bu- I have tons of guitars. But he has I, so I, many I perf- guitars. I still do a, a tribute show, and believe it or not, you'll laugh at this one. I've been and I've been doing this for probably 16, 17 years. I'm in a Motley Crew tribute oh gee and I, West Band and I do and I do Mick Mars yeah was that and I know the lead, and the lead <laughs> Pat started laughing yeah. Pat if you've seen the if you've seen the pictures you'd be like oh my god so you're wearing spandex I do it all I do yeah, Mick Mars but then again all the tributes like I was Brian May I had the Brian May hair I had the Brian so all these you know because they we get paid yeah. great to do this i mean we've yeah. been doing this for a long time travel all over the place and i recently put together a, an alice and Ch- i'm recreating the 1985 mtv unplugged alice in chains wow. show right. and i called it sludge factory so I, i'm working with this guy named frank werner who played with andrew wk and uh, we're, we put together the show. We're just going to come out and just do that show, start to finish, just like you watched on TV with the candles, the whole thing. But I'm well, you're, singing that. You're so I'm doing, the, I'm doing the Lane Staley, but I'll do some backup guitar in that because I sing as well. Yeah, he sings too. I'm going to look so, uh, He would be yes. great to have on your show. Absolutely. You guys, he, you know, he, he's really into the music scene. I mean, I love music. I'm, I'm into music, but, you know. I'm just, I'm just a hop along. I'm just a hop along. <laughs> I like your shirt, by the way. Yeah. Um, we do, thank we you. Do our this, is a, this is a Warren Brown uh, production right here. Wow. Oh, okay. That looks Stand up. That's nice. nice. Stand yeah. up. That's super cool. What's that? Stand up so they can see the whole thing. Oh, stand up. I don't want you to see my legs. Wait a minute. I'll look at it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That is killer. Oh, that's nice. I really that's like awesome. that. That's right. You see, Warren knows that Al- Albert Einstein would even listen to Beatles around. I think that's Warren doesn't even have one of those. I was shows. trying to say. No. Where, Warren, <laughs> where's, your, where's your shirt? Warren, you're slacking, man. <laughs> he's, the, he's doing the Beatles. Warren, Warren we got we to gotta soup you up there. <laughs> yeah. So I you're on every my, day and you. I changed my hat for you. I know. I did, I did notice, notice that. that. I should have said it. <laughs> 
you're on every day and you have like like zippets of uh whatever happened to the Beatles on that specific day. Right. And then Sorry. then you're gonna interview people what once a week? Um hopefully. I mean uh, maybe even hopefully? maybe even more. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's all in the work set. We're still getting everything. So Terry Crane's gonna be our first guest, right? And what was that? You said Terry Crane was going to be our first guest. Uh, yes. Do you know who Terry C Crane is? Lynn? I don't. I don't. Terry Crane is NEMS. Oh, Pride. okay. Okay. And he's the one that I was telling you about with all the collector items and the collector information. And uh, he can tell you about any kind of any kind of Beatles collectible he uh he he knows he's, he's like Bruce Pfizer, man. I mean, we're going to have Brucey. I don't know if you know who Bruce Pfizer is, but uh, he lives. He's from New Orleans. He's in a, a tax attorney and uh, he uh, he uh, writes books about all the Beatles albums, all the idiosyncrasies of the of the numbers and, you know, etched in the uh, trail off on the vinyl and all this other stuff. But he uh, he's also a collector. I mean, he's got like cardboard stand ups of uh, when, you know, and holding the that they put in the in the uh department stores this when the beatles yes. singles would first yes. come out you know like yes. divide, you know and the, but anyway he's got all that stuff he's got a lot they of had stuff. i remember when, awesome. when they had put their movies out they had them in the movie theater like yes. they, they would be like the four of them and they're like you know making posters yeah, yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that they yeah they had it up and down yes they like, had it in the movie theaters too that yeah. my poor dad had to go like 15 <sighs> towns over to get us to the movie theater <laughs> playing in but hey, that's uh, a hell of a first guest yeah. to have i'll tell you that yes <laughs> yes that's amazing we also, we also have ruth mccartney scheduled or going to schedule yeah no um, i mentioned it to her we have gary van syok of elephant's memory yeah oh. uh, john lennon's backup band Right. Yeah. Um, we'll have him on. Uh, we have plenty in the in the making. And, uh, and like Eddie's going to try and get you Steve Rosen. Right. Yeah. So that would be interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're just starting. Uh, you know, we're getting our feet on the ground here and seeing yeah. which direction that we want to go in. And right. we're trying to get Pat's radio station, Beatlesorama.com, funded again and get it back on the air mm -hmm. um so we're looking for people for sponsors oh, or, right? Or, or right yeah go ahead, go ahead well, the, the, yeah so it's it's a lot well, it's not a you know in comparison to other things i mean the basic nut to crack you know uh and of course i'd be working for free because it's like a labor of love is like six thousand dollars a year and uh i mean what is that? That's five hundred dollars a month, right? Uh, right, right. Yeah, I know. That's what we have to start doing. Like they tell you, though, after a certain amount of time, then it's you know it's time to start looking for the funding and putting out affiliates, affiliate programs, and then you know I'm going to go to L'Oreal and a couple of other people oh. um, with a, a media kit to try and see you know what funding we can get for our show too. Yeah. I mean, Pat has a Pat has a, a ta he's got a tax attorney. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a million dollars right good, there. <laughs> he's got a pretty good tax attorney. That's valuable in so many ways. <laughs> yeah. That's right. He failed to mention that uh, Warren Brown will be doing his merchandising for him. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. Well, that's why that's why I showed the shirt because that was the segue that Warren was. Oh, I yes. that one. I missed out then there, Pat. Okay, Every once so in a while, you're swinging your miss. Got your you merch. We back. all have to have our merch. That's what you have. As you know, as podcasters, yeah. you you know, unfortunately, you've got to find ways. And merch is one of the ways to go. Right. You know, yeah. and everybody loves be I mean, I've got probably seven different Beatles shirts with different things on them. You know, right. I just love them. Well, if you, you know? need, if you need uh, a graphic designer, <laughs> let me know. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I would love to here. see, I would love, uh, Warren, I'd love to see what you did, like what you do, like a collage of some of what you did for the Beatles, but for Queen. Oh, I, I have some Queen stuff. I'll send you some. Oh, or, yeah. or, I'll send, 
I send it to uh, Lynn because I, I got her email, right? Sure. Absolutely. So I, I'll send some to her and you can check them out. Excellent. And I'll send it Excellent. off to you. Yeah, his, some of his stuff. Uh, I'm going to put the animation, Lucy mm-hmm. in the Sky, that I'm going to put on the episode. So after you see your episode before it ends, Lucy, and I'm going to have the producer put Lucy in the oh, Sky in there. So, nice yeah, so, nice. so that Pat, everybody Pat, I have an that. idea for you, Pat. I think What's you that? should um, write a cookbook and just call it Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> and and it's all just recipes that involve pepper. Hey, well, pepper, uh, pepper. Uh, well, well, Jude's uh, Kessler's friend, Lene, right? Is it Linnea? Stag, uh, that's what she did. She uh, she did. Are a, you serious? Oh you know, yeah. See, it's not an original idea. Ed. No, I thought I was a genius. <laughs> oh, you blew me hey. away, Pat. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get in trouble with her. She might be a guest. Oh, hey, yeah, no, hey no, you no, guys no, better watch yes. it because he's the egg man and you need a little salt and pepper for the egg man. Well, if he's the egg man, then you're the walrus. Yeah, there yeah that's go. right. Uh, that's what we should have went with. Yeah, exactly. That, Boop, boopy doop. Yeah. Well, we'll have to think about that. Yeah, yeah and I, think, I think that's pretty let, good. Let me ask you guys this. What did you think of the movie yesterday? Uh, I thought it was. I thought it was very clever, actually. Um, the I agree. Where, I agree. I was just curious what you guys thought. Yeah, it was like a, you saw it, Warren. Yes. Yeah, it's like the guy that uh, plays the Beatles songs, and yep, you know, and nobody yeah. ever heard of the Beatles because yes, like, right, right, yeah. I, I thought yeah. it was a cool original story. Right. Like it hasn't been done, you know. Right. right. And just implementing yeah. the Beatles and doing it so well. I fell in love with the movie. I'll be honest with you. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I actually thought it was fantastic too. I did too. And it was it was good. Yes, I like the part at the end where you see John Lennon. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, that was a surprise to me. The movie was great, in my opinion. I give it a five star for a Beatle movie. Did you see that thing I posted on uh, on our Facebook page, uh, Warren? The uh... Somebody created this, I don't know, it's about a minute video of what all these different stars would look like today and say their ages today. Mm-hmm. You know, and they had John Lennon, they had uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, mm-hmm. Kurt Cobain. I mean, all these different stars. Oh, Jimi Hendrix was one of them. Wow. And it's oh, like, wow. And it's like how they aged and how would they look today? Yeah. And it's pretty amazing. So there you go. A, a plug for our uh, Facebook page. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Beatlesarama.tv. Thank you. <laughs> say, say it as fast. Say it again. Say it again. Beatlesarama.tv. Okay. Beatlesarama.tv. TV. Get That's there. Right. And it's also Beatlesarama TV on YouTube. That's right. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. And I also have the Beatles Kingdom on YouTube. Right. That's right. And we link together. Ah, right? good. Yes. That's so good. That's that, yeah. Team. That's the best. Yeah, it's the best right. way to do that. Team. Yes. Me and you're Laura gonna, joined at the hip. You're gonna piggyback off one another. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. No, really. I keep War, telling Warren, that. Warren is your evil. Your second evil head is what. Yeah. Warren is. <laughs> I, keep telling, I keep telling Patty, I'm in his back pocket. I just don't want him to sit on me. Just don't give him a reach around. Just don't reach in his Listen, front pocket. That's weight. where you draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> that's good man i mean it's great that you guys join forces you have this love and passion in common you both right. bring a lot to the table mm-hmm. and you have a lot going on and you have a lot more coming and uh that's exciting because the world could use some more beetles these days oh, believe me sure. uh, no, no you know? Need some uh, there's so yeah. much in their music there's so many meanings to their music that you know yes the world could really use a lot of That's what right. they have to say yeah. and what they mean and, and, yeah. and so much to you know not only their lyrics and their music but the the artwork aspect yes. Lauren, which you're capturing yes. in, in your own unique way which is phenomenal and pat you know with your uh history and porn you know <laughs> you lend yourself very, very well <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say I had, I had, I had, I had to, <laughs> that was good with me. <laughs> I was, 
I can tell you. Yeah, I'm sorry. War, war, on the previous we're, episode, Warren referred to you as Dirk Diggler. Well, so I, <laughs> we're all listen. We're all adults here. Uh, yeah. Hey, let's make you be, bad guy. Wait a minute, I'm going to blow you away. I used to be the voice of Girls Gone Wild. So no, no, no. 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 Oh my God, that is so badass. You also were. There's a lot of stuff you can't unsee or you probably don't want to unsee. But. Well, you know, actually, uh, you know, and I used to, some people would say, why do you do that? And I said, well, because it pays a lot of money. Yeah, right. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to watch the DVDs. You know? so, oh, I just talk and they pay me. That's right. Absolutely. It's amazing. What, 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 I watched a documentary on that that. Uh, the guy yeah, yeah. who uh, was the, oh, yeah, that was Joe. Yeah, yeah, he, oh, uh, he was, uh, he was a character. He yeah, a... yeah, the documentary <laughs> says it all, but that's interesting, Pat. That's, and I know you've done a lot of voiceover stuff, and that, that's we've had people on before that do voiceover work, and I, I find it so fascinating <clears throat> and interesting. Oh, I do too. Yeah, it is such a broad spectrum. Everybody thinks of voiceovers as animation, but there's so much more corporate voiceovers. Uh, you know, I mean, there, there's so many different avenues you could go down with voiceovers that it is right i find it to be very very interesting i know and, and i'm good friends with uh johnny brennan do you remember the jerky boys yes yes well john johnny's a good friend of mine and oh, uh, really? uh yeah and it's funny because he wound up a, a fan of mine somehow mm -hmm. through the queen thing and it, oddly enough we both had the same jazz guitar teacher in new york city so we had a lot in common but he still does a lot of the voiceover stuff. He was working on the, uh, you know, and he's, Seth a, he's a little phone gigs, right? That's... He, yeah, that's how they started yes. off was right. the whole phone thing. Then he did the movie, and then he started doing uh, work with um, Family Guy as Saul. He was doing the Morty, wow. oh. and uh, hmm. so he he par he parlayed it. But you know, the voiceover industry industry, yeah, yeah. Is, is huge. It's it's amazing. Do you know Rick Pedrosian? I do not. Oh, you know Rick, right, Warren? Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, he he was one of the people that I interviewed um, uh, for the that's on the uh, YouTube channel. He he's a guitar player, and uh, he just did a. Um, he, he lives in New Jersey, <laughs> and he's a Mets fan. Okay. Boo. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I'm a, uh, just ouch. ask Lauren. I'm a Yankees fan, and I, I'm in. Yeah, where's those Yankees? Go Yankees! Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> but Rick Bedrosian is a guitar player, and he, he you know, the, I got contacted by him. <laughs> there, no, yeah, yeah. There, yeah, oh the, no! The pink Orioles a helmet. Oh, there you go. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Warren, you're a pisser. I swear give me a, God. Warren, give me a ball so I could bean you. <laughs> oh god that's funny yeah he did, so, uh, he did, he did beatles covers that's all i was trying okay to say. okay Pretty all right well stuff. unfortunately yeah, well, thank we you have for to, having us we man. have to wrap it up so we're gonna you know we're gonna let each of you say you know exactly where the fans are gonna find you again just okay. just to make sure and warren you are me? <laughs> <laughs> He's like five you foot you. nine. I like uh, my favorite color is Anakin Costello hour. I was going to let Pat okay. go. Right, we'll like Pat go Warren's first. forgotten who he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just joshing with you there, Warren. Yeah, um, sorry. Okay, so we have uh, Beatles Around a TV, which is a YouTube channel. You know, we have some old content on there, but we're putting new stuff on it now. By the way, uh, the the, the um, Mona Lisa twins had been watched thirty seven thousand times. I thought that was pretty good. Wow! Wow! You know? wow. We got to start. Yeah, we got to start That's monetizing fantastic. this thing. Yeah. Yes. Well, Hello. Well, a dollar anyway, a click. <laughs> yeah. So you know, I bought the uh, domain Beatlesarama.tv, and uh, we're going to start using that as well. But we're on Facebook. Uh, as the Beatles Kingdom, uh, also as Beatles Arama TV, and uh, what else? We're on uh, Instagram, Beatlesarama.com, I think, or just Beatles Arama. We're in LinkedIn. LinkedIn, we're surprised by the, the traffic that we've gotten in this oh, yeah. little bit of time this yes. week on LinkedIn. Yes. Yeah. Did I let it leave anything out, Warren? Uh, no, you got it. As for me, I. I have a art page on Facebook called the That's Beatles right. Kingdom Art Page, and um, 
Uh, I'm also in Beatlesorama TV. I have my Facebook group, which is the Beatles Kingdom. Um, I have my Facebook page, which is the Beatles Kingdom page. Other than that, um, I'm all over Facebook under uh, Pat's name in case I mess, mess up somewhere. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, listen, but by the way, Warren, and tomorrow when we do the uh, thing, I thought there was a good idea if you could uh, edit in over my face every once in a while, um, one of your artwork, you know, some of your artwork in the uh, in the video. I think that might be cool. And then, then I'll plug it at the end. You see, I, I can give you a nice uh, animated character face. OK, <laughs> could, you turn, you could you turn his face into like Pat Pat Lennon? Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah he, Warren, Warren's all into AI, uh, by the way. So That's what I'm that. saying. Like, he could do, yeah. he could do that. Hey, I listen, if, too, if, if, uh, if uh, what is it, um, Snapchat, if they could throw those filters on you and make you look like anything, you yeah. can do it. I, I, you Warren, can do, I, I we know you, you can do it, Warren. <laughs> I'm, I'm self taught. So I if know. I can teach myself, I think everybody could. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I call through, myself technology for dummies, but I'm trying. I went through <laughs> two strokes and forgot my memory two different times, and I still learned how to do it. So now you've had three different lives. This is wonderful, you know. <laughs> exactly. But the so only you, problem you got six more. The only yeah, problem with that, I'm Warren, is that you have to keep changing the password. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Huh? Just write it down. Man. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, this has been a whole, this has been fun. Thank you so much. It's Absolutely. been an honor for That's us fun. to have both of you on, not just one, but yeah. both of you. It's amazing. It's Thank absolutely you so much. amazing. Absolutely. And uh, again, we're funnyminds.com. And you can find us online and online. If you go online, um, we have some merch and we have a lot of different um we have a lot of different uh, scenarios to our name mm -hmm. and uh, different things that you can find, different shirts with different logos on them with funny, funny minds. Yeah. We also have two organizations that we're very fond of, and that's St. Jude's Children's Hospital and Breast Cancer. So there's a big purple button on there. And if uh, if you care to donate, it's a wonderful cause. Both of them are wonderful causes. And again, I thank you guys so much for being on our show. Thank you. And uh, I just like to end by telling people to be happy, to be healthy, to be wise, to be non judgmental, and to laugh because laughter is always the best medicine. So goodbye, yeah. guys. I loved having you on. This is right, absolutely wonderful. Pat, and I Warren, will, thank I you will so subscribe much. to right, your you, show. Edward. And Warren, I'm going to send you a picture of my book. Uh, Ari, right, thank you. And Edward, I'll send you some. Warren, thank pictures. you, my friend. And uh, thank you guys for having us on. It was a pleasure. And thank Pat for joining me on here. Yes, that, the pleasure was all ours, definitely. Pat, Pat slash Dirk Diggler. Hey, listen, <laughs> and, and Ed, could you uh, pass this on to the Tampa Bay Rays and tell them to beat the Houston Astros? Because I don't like them. Uh, I will, because I think I have them in one of my parlays. So they're going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no gambling right. now. I have a Beatles slot machine. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh. this is going to out. I'm coming down by you. <laughs> you mean we could have been playing that the whole time? I know, <laughs> really. Yeah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm, right, from, I'm from Vegas, so, you know. Exactly. I know. I know. <laughs> that's, why they, that's why they made you leave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank All right, you. guys. Go, go. Well, guys. Bye -bye. All right, bye-bye.